Welcome to In It to Win It. This is Steve Barden, and thank you for tuning in. Very interesting day in the markets, and I thought it was worth a quick video. As banks start to fall like dominoes, it is having an effect on the precious metals market, and it's uh, it's very interesting correlation to uh, to see. So, a um, couple quick updates as far as their uh, banks. It it looks like they're going to bail out. Uh, uh, Silicon Valley Bank and the Signature Bank of New York, um, rather than debate the mor morality of that or whether that's right or wrong. I mean, on one hand, you got, uh, you know, you got a lot of people that, for no fault of their own, they're, they're not going to get a paycheck if they don't get a, um, uh, their deposits covered. On the other hand, um, you know, you're putting that on the back of the taxpayers in the form of inflation. So, Take the hand you're dealt. Uh, this is what I see and how we can make money from it. So quick little uh, recap here on the Fed funds rate and what the market thinks the Fed is going to do for their, 20, their March 22nd meeting. Just a few days ago, it was about 70% chance that they were going to hike 50 basis points and 30% chance that they were going to hike 25 now it's a 70% chance that they're going to hike 25 and a 30% chance they're going to pause and uh, keep it level. So interesting development there. Uh, and now when we go to the charts, we take a look at the S&P as of the close of today, Monday. It's uh, essentially even. It traded in about a 2.5% range up and down here and settled at 3855, um, you know, essentially even for the day. Uh, now, take a look at the effect that gold had. Okay, so here we go to gold. Just in the last um, four or five days, what we've had is an uptick of about five, five and a half percent. We've had one and a half percent uptick just today. Take a look at silver. Silver almost five percent today. Okay. Um, so just last week we were in the low twenties. Now we're approaching 22. Pretty interesting. Okay. So the spot price of silver, this is another one I want to highlight here. Take a look over here on the left. The spot price went up by 4.73%. And if we go to a common silver, uh, uh, ETF here, SIL, that one went up 6.13 today, uh, SILJ the junior silver miner ETF, that went up by 6.3 today. Uh, this other one went up almost 10, Silver Crest Metals. We've talked about, a lot about this one on the show. A lot more risky, but more upside. It almost doubled what the spot price did, okay? Actually, it did uh, double. Uh, okay, now, other leverage bets to gold. So gold went up 1.5, okay? A leverage bet to that would be GDX, the gold miners ETF. That went up 7% today. Uh, Gold Royalty Corporation, uh, David Garofalo, he'll be on the show tomorrow for the premiere. That one went up 5.3 today. Okay. Uh, our TLT bet, 20 year treasury, this is very risky. Not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, uh, but this is a bet that I like a lot for some short term gains. And by short term, I mean in the next you know, year and a half or so. Okay. Uranium hit an interesting spot. So place three bets today on URN, URNM, URA, and UROY, UROY, Uranium Royalty. Um, hitting along, see these low uh, uh, points that we bought before with all these arrows, placed another one today. Um, placed another one on URA. Look at these graphs. They all look very similar, right? They're all kind of hitting towards the bottom, and we got a reversal bar um, in the price action today. Uroy, same thing. Reversal bar in the daily, got our bet in, okay? Um, I anticipate making three bets with this. So 1% of the portfolio will be split into three bets across these three stocks, which we already own. Um, so we'll be looking forward to place the second and third one uh, probably in the next week or two. We'll see. Maybe maybe there'll be some bleed off with this on the general uh, when the general market goes down. Uh, uranium will go down as well. We'll see. But it looks like gold is doing the exact opposite. As uh, some of the other equities in the broader market are going down, gold is going up. When people become concerned about the purchasing power of their currency, they move it from one place to another, and a place that they commonly move it is into precious metals, and that's exactly what we're seeing. Uh, PPLT, our uh, platinum bet, that one kind of shot up. Uh, now, 
Oh, copper, our limit order filled there. Got rid of the two limit orders underneath it for 35 and 34. Kind of want to wait and see how the rest of the week shakes out. And maybe this will be, uh, we'll be able to get this even cheaper. Maybe we'll have a liquidity crisis and, and we'll get this stupid cheap. Uh, okay, now the banks, Bank of America dropped 5.8% today. Okay, 5.8% today. Uh, Wells Fargo dropped 7% today. Now, these I don't believe have any chance of failing. Uh, but sentiment is in the tank right now for banks. Okay. Schwab, 14% today. I'm sorry, 11, 11.5% today. A common um, regional bank uh, ETF, IAT, dropped 14% today. And now we get into the ones that I think are in some systemic risk here. PacWest Bank Corporation has just been dropping like a knife. Um, and Western Alliance Bank Corporation has also been dropping like a knife. This one is down 47% today. Uh, and then First Republic Bank down 61% today. So some real risk there in the banking markets. Uh, it's been very interesting. I can't wait to see how the rest of the week turns out. I hope you guys got something out of this. Hit the like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think and what you see. And I will talk to you next time.